The Scaled Composites Pond Racer, company designation Model 158, was one of the most radical racing aircraft ever built, combining advanced composite construction, automotive-based engines, and an unconventional twin-boom configuration. Its story reflects both the ambition and the risks of pushing piston engine aviation to its limits. The project began in the late 1980s when American millionaire and air racing enthusiast Bob Pond commissioned Burt Rutan and Scaled Composites to design a modern alternative to vintage warbirds competing in the unlimited class at the Reno Air Races. Pond was deeply concerned that historic aircraft such as the P-51 Mustang and Hawker Sea Fury were being destroyed in crashes. The goal was a purpose-built racer, faster, lighter, and safer to replace irreplaceable warbirds. The Pond Racer featured a twin-engine, twin-boom layout with a compact central nacelle housing the cockpit. The entire airframe was built from carbon fiber and Kevlar composites, giving exceptional strength at very low weight. Maximum takeoff mass was about 1,880 kilograms, 4,145 pounds, resulting in an outstanding power-to-weight ratio. Power came from two electromotive and Nissan VG30 V6 engines, heavily modified, turbocharged, and originally intended for auto racing. While theoretical output was close to 1,000 horsepower per engine, in practice the Pond Racer engines produced around 600 horsepower each. They drove four-bladed propellers through reduction gearboxes, allowing engine speeds up to 8,000 revolutions per minute, while keeping propeller speed near 2,000 revolutions per minute. The aircraft used methanol fuel during racing to reduce cooling requirements and eliminate intercoolers, lowering drag. Tight engine packaging made cooling airflow critical. The carbon fiber engine cowlings were structural and lined with thin corrugated in-canal. After shutdown, external blowers were required to prevent heat damage, while extensive preheating was needed before engine start due to extremely tight bearing tolerances. The Pond Racer debuted at the 1991 Reno Air Races, flown by test pilot Rick Brickert after initial test flights by Dick Rutan, Mike Melville, and Steve Hinton. It qualified at about 400 miles per hour, 640 kilometers per hour, but suffered mechanical issues and did not start the race. Subsequent appearances showed impressive straight line speed, but revealed that the aircraft was poorly suited to Reno's tight, high-G turns. On September 14, 1993, during qualifying at Reno, an engine failure combined with an unfeathered propeller led to a forced belly landing in rough terrain. The aircraft was destroyed and Rick Brickert was killed. Despite its tragic end, the Pond Racer remains a landmark in experimental aviation. It demonstrated the potential of composite construction and modern engine concepts in high-performance piston aircraft, influencing later racing and experimental designs.